हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू नदर सेशन विद मी दिस इज संयुक्ता सक्सेना होप यू आर एंजॉइंग दिस सीरीज ऑन टैंगल्स इशूड बाय सीजीटीज होप यू हैव अ गुड कलेक्शन बाय नाउ वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड अ कपल ऑफ टैंगल्स इशूड बाय सीजीटीज ऑल ओवर या टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न टू मोर न्यू टैंगल्स एंड द टैंगल्स आर कॉल्ड पेपरमेंट एंड बटुम्बर येस द फर्स्ट टैंगल पेपरमेंट इज बाय सीजीटी sandy hunter and it starts with an orb like this and then you draw lines just like you draw for a clock when you draw a clock like these and then you round the in between of these lines like this right so insert a semicircle there in between the lines and then ink the in between spaces left if you want you can do this exercise right away without drawing the lines also but if you are new to this tangle i would advise that you start this way draw the lines in between the lines insert a semicircle and then ink the in between spaces like this the tangle is called paper mint beautiful tangle to draw looks really nice once you are done with this the next step is just to add these dots at the ends of these pointed shapes that you have drawn or the line like this yeah if you want you can add more dots you can insert an orb in between so once you know the basic tangle you can create any number of tangulations but that's how the basic tangle goes if you want to draw it in a different way you can also straight away draw these scallops inside because that's the ultimate shape that you get on linking those lines and then ink the in between spaces and you get the same look that's the tangle paper mint yeah so generally you shade it on the edges but if you want you can always add highlight or just add something in the center like this you can shade it this way also but generally the usual way is to add on the edges so shading is a matter of personal choice you can shade it any which ways you wish to these are the general ways to go about shading this tangle you can highlight the center or you can highlight the edges or you can shade half right so that also looks nice the second tangle for today is called batumba so we will start with two lines like these and then we are going to add curvy lines like this over it on both sides right on the other side also do the same exercise make sure they are in coordination yeah again add an aura this tangle is by cct kelly kelly and once you are done with that you just have to draw these flowers start from the center preferably and then insert these nice petal shapes and if you want you can ink the rest or you can add these small orbs inside yeah and we do this exercise on both sides tangle pattern batumba like this yeah again small little spaces in between if you ink it it adds character it adds to the look of the tangle 
you can see here how it adds to the look yeah so do the same on the other side also so if you insert one more line here so you can do the same on this side also or you can insert something else yeah so if i draw the same tangle then i will again draw the same thing on the other side and if i want to vary the look then i can add something else so the tangle can be drawn in continuation like this yeah or if you don't want to you can keep this portion empty just draw these nice petal shapes you can also give a pointed look to the shape pointed petal something like this you can draw like that also yeah so if you miss this part if you just don't consider this part then this is how the original tangle looks like but if you are drawing it in continuation then again you can keep on inserting the same on both sides or you can insert something else also so if i want i can insert something else also yeah so that's the tangle batumbar so we'll draw a tile and you will get a better picture of how to draw the tangle how you can use the tangle yeah let's get started as far as shading this tangle is concerned again you can shade here it's entirely your choice how do you want to go about so you can always shade here or you can shade under the line and highlight the line so it all depends what setting what are the tangles that you have used yeah so you can highlight this line or you can highlight the center inside section whichever way you wish to shade it so let's now get started with today's style so i'm starting with my pen right away you can always start your border with your pencil I think I will need to ink it later so I'm starting with my pen. Right? So I am kind of dividing my tile into two like this with my pencil just for the sake of reference or you can consider it to be a string whatever way you feel comfortable. So now I'm going to first start with my tangle peppermint. Yeah? so i have drawn two small little black pearls i think i'll zoom in a little more yeah and then i'm going to start with my first peppermint take your time and slowly insert those arcs scallops curves whatever you want to call it and then you can also add these small orbs instead of dots they look nice yeah again i'm going to go with the second one so i'm going to hang a couple of them here just like decoration you can use it any which ways you wish to again going with the second one here it's a bigger one now yeah again do the same exercise take your time this is a easier way to draw or you can start with your lines and then connect them whichever way you find it easier right so again i'm going to add a small orb there 
you can add something inside or you can leave it as it is again going to hang one more so I'm going to continue like this yeah probably vary the size also a little bit not much So just go with the flow, enjoy the strokes, don't haste up, just adding some black beads there and then again starting with those curves. Slowly do that exercise. Yeah. Then ink, I think now you have got a hang of the tangle, yeah, paper mint. So in this one you can add some dots. So inside, whatever you feel like, just go with that. Yeah. So I'll do a couple of more. Again, probably make it a little more bigger in size. Like this. And the last one, probably not much visible there. But definitely biggest. Yeah. So I'm now in the last one. So what I did is a little variation. It's a big one there. So I've added an aura outside. And then I'm going to add the tangle inside. Just a small variation. Take your time. You can always go with the way I have drawn the other ones. This is just optional. It's a big orb so I thought I will do it this way. Right? Done with that. If you want, you can add some dots there going towards the center. So that's the last one. So now let us move on to our next angle. So I'm going to insert Batumba now. So first, uh, let us see. I'm going to add a zigzag line like this and then instead of just adding an aura I'm going to give it the look of rambles somewhat a ribbon like this and then I'm going to add the center line like this add a double line again add another So I'm coordinating the two sides somewhat and then again giving it the rambles kind of look. Yeah. 
this is optional you can keep it simple or as just adding a little bit of zen there yeah now go with that petal shapes inside each of these curve like this take your time do that exercise throughout and then on the other side yeah and the last one here petal shapes pointed shapes whatever you want to insert inside that's our batumbar yeah so i'm going to add one more so let's add another double line there and then again coordinate the two sides like this again a slight ribbon feeling like that and then i'll do the same exercise yeah take your time can be a beautiful border ribbon style tangle yeah so let me do this on the other side also and i get back draw at your own pace no hurry it can be fitted into any kind of a grid it's not that you have to follow the same size or the same shape so i'm done drawing my petal shapes and the next step is to add that ink so you can insert some obs here and there or you can ink it completely it is entirely up to you how you want to go about If the spaces are large enough, I'm going to insert an orb. Else, I'm just going to ink it. Yeah. So just take your time. Do it at your own pace. The spaces are small, so you need to give time. small little lobs here and there if you have that much space a good idea right so i'll do this and get back so i'm done with drawing inking the small little spaces in between my batumbar so some little space left there if you want you can leave it empty you can add some mukas if you wish to but these are entirely optional things if you want to you can if you don't you can just skip this i'm just going with some random mukas here
right so you can just leave the space the way it is or you can do what i am doing just going with the flow yeah that's it i think we don't need to do more small little spaces there that's about it let's now move on to shading our tile yeah small little fescues here and there always a good idea to add that delicate fragile look to your tile let's move to shading now so i am going to try this shading now add on one side probably and see how does it work out i have never shaded it this way let's see what happens if you darken one side yeah take your time come to about half of your peppermint don't cover the entire thing keep the ends dark compared to the other half yeah that's about it gives a nice dimension i don't think it's a bad idea to shade it this way also yeah next going on to our ribbon right so spaces are small so take your time and slowly shade your ribbon or rambles until one that you have added to your batumba slowly go to each of the intersection don't blend too much you want the highlight visible yeah so i'll do that for all so you don't even need to apply you need very little so what is already there on your stub is sufficient to give that much effect yeah slowly blend and leave a highlight like this yeah then coming on to this petals i'm just going to add some in the center don't add too much a soft touch is all you need yeah so i am done with that if you want you can give slight touches to your mocha 
they are pretty small so your choice you can if you want just touch the pods and then finally adding some graphite here well if you don't like the border plane you can always add something there also yeah something like eek something like this yeah so it will add to the look of your tile and the border is no long no longer plain so this is eek this calls spring series of cursive e's whatever you want to relate it to with these as entangle originals yeah so i'm done let us now close our tile here Let's sign and date it. Put in your chop. So that's our tile for today. We learned two more new tangles. That's peppermint and batumber. I shall see you again with another new session. We will further our journey, learn some more, couple of more new tangles. Till then, have a good time. Bye bye.